Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can transition to a new map at runtime uh, with custom modes. So here I have the third person uh, template and I have created some buttons here. Now if I press the first person button, this is going to open the same map but with a different game mode. And as you can see I just press the button and it used a different game mode. This is very useful when you have a lot of game modes and you want to use them on a single map so you don't have to duplicate your map multiple times so let's let's see how this works uh, okay so to begin with we are gonna need a widget for the buttons that we just used so let's create that uh, right click go to user interface and create a widget blueprint I name this button and I open it up so here we're gonna need a couple of things the first one is a canvas panel and we also gonna need a couple of buttons to place here so I'm gonna place right here another one here and another one here I'm also gonna drop some text in these buttons so I can so I know which button does what I'm gonna change this to third person and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller, maybe 15. And I'm also also gonna fit this in the button. So, so just make the button a little bit bigger so it fits. And I'm also gonna change the color to black. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the others. So let's drop a text. Change this to first person and make it a little bit bigger I drop another one here flying okay now that we have these trees let's make them do something so click on the button go down here and click the event click this and do the same for the other two as well Unclicked. Right. And now that we have this, we're gonna need a node which is called open level by object reference. Connect this here. And we're also gonna need a couple of things here. First, let's add future or content pack. I'm gonna add the first person to this project. And I'm also gonna add, I shouldn't have closed that. I'm also gonna add a uh, Top down. Right. So now that we have these three uh, individual game modes, we can use them uh, in our code. So when we open this level, each time we're gonna get a different game mode depending on which button we pressed. So for the first one, which was this, I believe, we are gonna choose the third person map. And we're also going to duplicate this and use this for the others as well. Now, in the options, this is very important. We are going to go to the third person folder, the uh, blueprints, and find the game mode. And we're going to copy the reference. Once you've copied that, come back here and place it here. But you have to delete some part of this and edit this a little bit. So delete the last character and use an underline and use a upper letter C also you're gonna come up here right before the game before the uh, slash you're gonna delete everything that's before that and you have to type manually a question mark type in game and put a put an equal symbol right here and this is the correct format so a question mark game equal a symbol and the rest of it should be the path to the game mode asset and also edit the last part you have to put this underline and a C okay so now we are gonna do the same for the others this one was first person so I'm gonna go back to the content folder find the first person blueprints 
game mode. Copy the reference. And do the same. And for the third one, I'm gonna use the top down uh, game mode. So I'm gonna copy the reference, place it here, and change this to question mark game equals, and also edit this last part of the uh, text under my C. Okay, that should be all we need here. If I've done everything here, this should work. Now let's go back to our third person character. Uh, third person character. Here at the begin play, we are gonna need, uh, we have to create the widget that we just created and put it on the screen. So type create widget, set the, uh, find the widget here, and add this to viewport. Add to viewport. Okay, so this should technically work right now. And let's press let's press play and see. Okay, so I have these buttons here. Let's test this first person. There we go. We open the same map with a different game mode. And let's test the other game mode as well. We have the flying one. And it seems to be working. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. This is using the same app, by the way. Let's test the third person as well. Yes, the third person is working too. Now, you could create the widget in some other blueprint so that it doesn't disappear when we are using other mods. But you get the point. You can do that on your own.